The opposite of dark is light. And today we're gonna to go into light academia, a style that I've covered the dark side of, but today we're gonna to go into the lighter side of this style. So light academia interior design style is a blend of vintage, rustic, and traditional design elements. And this particular style is inspired by the aesthetics of classical literature, art, and education. It's all about creating that cozy, lived-in feeling with neutral and natural elements, soft colors, and of course, lots of books. So the light academia aesthetic is known for incorporating design elements from the Victorian, Baroque, Renaissance, and other 18th century motifs from Europe. This aesthetic is often seen in historical buildings such as churches, libraries, castles, museums, and of course, universities. When you think about the architecture of academia style in general, whether it's light or dark, you'll generally see images including high ceilings, long corridors, and pillars. So similarly to dark academia, the light academia style focuses on books and other scholastic features. It also shares a lot of its defining qualities with other aesthetics like cottage core and most importantly, a vintage aesthetic. Most commonly in light and dark academia, you're gonna find a strong presence of hardcover books, encyclopedias, dictionaries, and novels. You'll also see many touches that reference academics and schools such as quilt pens, ink, journals, vintage globes, and maps. You will also find old fashioned tools and equipment that you can place in any room, perhaps incorporating a violin or a grand piano, if you have the space for it. You can think about incorporating things like easels and canvases and paintbrushes to showcase your creativity in the visual arts. And some of my personal favorites are typewriters, stamps, and calligraphy tools. So as the name implies, this style is influenced by school and school-like items from the past. We really want more of that vintage look when we're going for a light academia aesthetic. Some touches that you can add to this look to really elevate it is including items like gilded mirrors, marble figurines, intricate tea sets, and antique portraits that really help liven up your light academia room. Any form of art that pays homage to the Renaissance era or other similar periods is an item that's worthy of being displayed in your light academia space. So you like this aesthetic. How do we get this look? How do we incorporate this look into your space? So we wanna start with our color palette first. We really wanna have probably guessed it by now, a neutral color palette. So unlike dark academia, we do not want to have that heavy feeling with this look. We really wanna lighten things up when we're talking about light academia. So we wanna think about bringing in faded or neutral tones like creams, beiges, and white. At the same time, almost all shades of brown also work really well and are welcomed into this antique look of light academia. And if possible, try to add in some touches of gold to accent some parts of your homes. It will really add a little bit of elegance to the space. So although it's a very neutral color palette for your light academia space, don't be swayed away from using some nice soft colors. So think of things like pastels, specifically powder blue, baby pinks, and sage green. These will really help give your space a cute and feminine touch. Another key element when you're thinking about light academia is bringing in natural light into your space. It's really key for this look. Unlike our dark academia, where we want a more moody and deep feeling in the space. We really want light academia to be light, bright, and airy. So when it comes to your windows, we wanna keep your draperies super light, thinking of linens and cottons and keeping them open during the daylight hours, especially if you're in a place that has lots of sun beaming through, you really wanna make sure that you're allowing all of that natural light into your space. So when we're thinking about our artificial lighting in this style, we wanna think of stuff like a fancy chandelier or perhaps the use of candles, candelabras, a gold lamp. So definitely a lot more of that vintage vibe, traditional vibe. So when you're thinking about your artificial lighting in your light academia space, you do wanna think about the type of lighting. So you don't wanna go with a cool light, you really wanna go with a warm light. So warm lights have a more yellowish hue to them when they're on. So that is the style of artificial lighting that you'll want to incorporate. 
Just a brief pause here. If you guys are enjoying this content, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Helps the algorithm, all that jazz. All right, thank you. So thinking about the finishes and materials in your light academia space, you want to add texture to your light academia space by including natural materials like wools, linens, and cottons. So nothing that's too heavy. Another detail that will really upgrade this look is to do wainscoting on your walls. Now I realize that this would be a bit of a commitment, but if you really do want to embrace this look, this will really get you there. I feel like a truly vintage academic space has some wall paneling details that just look stunning when incorporated into your home. However, not to worry, if you're not ready for that level of commitment, you could incorporate the neutral palette already mentioned that will serve as a canvas for things like wooden picture frames, gilded paintings, sepia pictures, torn textbook pages, think maybe old and faded postcards, brochures and sketches that will really contribute to your vintage academia inspired space. Now, if you're not willing to do wainscoting, but paint seems too boring, you could always bring in wallpaper. Wallpaper is a great way to bring in light academia. So you'll want to think about something like elaborate floral patterns. Think William Morris, which will really, really look stunning in this space. And if you're curious to know more about William Morris, I did do a video on arts and crafts, so I can link that for you guys and you can check that one out and it gets into his aesthetic and style for wallpaper. Okay, the fun part, furniture. So when we're thinking about furniture for the space, I think one of the key elements is a bookcase. <laughs> Just like dark academia, light academia, does embrace, of course, bookcases as one of the most important items that you should be incorporating in your space. But there are many other furniture pieces that you can incorporate to really give you that light academia space. Think of items like a lawyer's cabinet, apothecary cabinets, desks with typewriters and typesetting drawers, vintage books and candlesticks will also help set that scene to make things feel frozen in time. I also really love those vintage um, card, I think it's from the library where you have the little library cards and all the little things to pull out. I love those cabinets. They just look great, kind of useless, maybe good for like, I don't know. What would you use that for? I guess like silverware, candlesticks, narrow things, <laughs> but I love the look of it. Not super practical. So when you're thinking about the furniture in your space, you also want to think of the wood tones that you're using. So think oaks and walnuts and light colored woods like this light wash is a great you know, aesthetic for a light academia space. And one of the other pieces that I absolutely love to incorporate in a light academia or any academia space, light or dark, is a vintage writing desk. Now that is just a beautiful piece to add in and adds a lot of visual interest to your space. So what I really appreciate about the academia style is that it does have a maximalist vibe to it. And some of the items that you wanna bring in from a decor sense can be super fun and playful in this aesthetic. So you wanna think about bringing in trinkets that will show your appreciation for the liberal arts. So again, books, of course, symbolize your love of knowledge and literature, but think about things like globes and hourglasses, telescopes, journals, magnifying glasses, calligraphy tools, anything that really will amplify that academia aesthetic. Another really great feature item that you could bring into your space is something like a grandfather clock, Gilded mirrors are always a beautiful addition to a space. Golden candelabras, ceramic vases, even bringing in items like dried flowers are great to your space. Something that's kind of fun and quirky could be bringing in a gramophone. You know, adding in a typewriter, I love a good vintage typewriter, always looks great too. I don't even have one and I'm like obsessed with them, so I should really look into that to be honest. 
I think the key with the light academia style is for the decor and accessories, bring in items that you're interested in. So if you're interested in painting and the arts, think canvases and arts and different things that showcase that. If you're interested in photography, you can bring in vintage cameras. If you're interested in musical history, you can bring in some historical musical pieces if you have the space for it. Some of those can get quite large. But what I love about the academia style from light to dark is that you can bring in your own aesthetic that you like from any form of education and really bring it in and make it your own. I think it's a really beautiful and creative style that you can really elaborate on and make it feel truly unique to yourself. So if you enjoy the light academia style, you'll probably really enjoy the dark academia style as well. So jump on over to that video next and check that one out to get a similar but darker vibe of this look. All right, guys, until next time, bye.